make them bounce. We have Tropical Storm Nate on our hands, and this is causing some problems over Central America. We're looking at some excessive rainfall that's going on, and life-threatening flash flooding is certainly going to be an issue here over the next 24 to even 48 hours. So uh, it officially became Tropical Storm Nate early this morning, but also around 11 a.m., this already has made landfall. It made landfall over northeastern Nicaragua, and we could see this make landfall again uh, over Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. And this is also going to be a storm to watch if you live in the southeastern portion of the United States. By the weekend, we could see Tropical Storm Nate become a hurricane. So stay tuned. We'll keep you posted on that latest, uh, those latest details with this tropical storm. Now let's talk about rainfall. Not only are you seeing the rainfall along the northern coast of Honduras and Nicaragua, but also out on the Pacific side. Some very heavy rainfall has already fallen. I actually uh, was kind of going back and forth with somebody on Twitter. And I want to show you this picture here. It's a little hard to make out. Of course, you can see the water here. It's not supposed to be here. There's actually buildings that are underneath all of that water. So we've already seen some heavy rainfall in Costa Rica. Some areas, Costa Rica into Nicaragua, could pick up over 10, even 20 inches of rain. So we look at that life-threatening flooding, mudslides, rough surf, also local wind damage is going to be of concern along the coast here. This is where we do find our tropical alerts. Even up toward Cancun, there is a hurricane watch in place. So heads up for those that might be heading there for vacation in the next couple of days. Now, I mentioned if you live in the southeastern portion of the United States, you will want to stay with us here on AccuWeather.com. Uh, as you can see, getting into this weekend, the storm is going to move over the Gulf of Mexico, some very warm water, and that's where we could see some strengthening, possibly even rapid intensification. At this point, we believe that this will possibly become a Category 1 hurricane by Sunday morning. So there will be some impacts across the southeast here by Sunday. There's a large area at risk. There is going to be some wiggle room over the next couple of days as we kind of fine-tune the forecast here. But anywhere from eastern Louisiana to the Florida Panhandle should be on alert for the potential of flooding rainfall, damaging winds, storm surge. There could also be some isolated tornadoes as well.